All right. Uh, do a snipe here on rank five using my anti Ultron team here. Oops, need Minerva, not Star Lord. No need for Star Lord, unfortunately. That's all good. All right. I got a timer in the other window, my laptop, which is in sync with the um, payout timer, so I know exactly when to uh, make the final kill. All right, so we gotta go a little quick though, because Ultron is a very slow fight because he calls in so many minions and can get real hairy trying to kill them all. All right, we're gonna disrupt the Juggernaut. He doesn't have a dispel, so we should be okay. If they kill somebody, Minerva will just bring him back, so not a big deal. Um, all right, I'm gonna call in the minion squad. And they call in theirs. Um, we don't have to heal up here, but I do like killing a bunch of the minions with this. Okay, I forgot she was blind. Going too fast. Mm -hmm. Ooh, big time damage. All right, who do we want to kill here? Oh, let's see if we can one shot Fury. 107k. Yep, there we go. Uh, and then we can blind the Juggernaut and kill a bunch of minions. So works out pretty good. Clear all their buffs with the vision. Alt, and then um, let's see if we can murder Ultron. Yep, offense up Juggernaut. We'll do that for you. So there's his revive out of the way. Now we got two blinds to deal with, but let's go ahead and slow down this Ultron here. Let's keep hitting him. Make sure he's dead. And we don't need to call in minions. Let's get that Ultron down. There we go. All right, I got about two minutes left. So let's uh, let's clear the accelerator. Fabricator is fine, he's blind. And then we'll kill the Star Lord and then just. Um, actually, let's uh, do that. Let's single time. Oh, I forgot he was blind. Um, yeah, let's slow the Star Lord down and kill him. And then let's see if we can leave that minion up for last, just so it'll be an easy kill to finish it off. Uh, ooh, almost got him. Yeah, I think it's fine. All right, so I, that doesn't quite kill him. So that's the thing is when you have big tanks like this, it's really hard to judge exactly when they're one shot. Whereas it's much easier to do when it's just a stupid minion. All right, I think Magneto can one shot this guy. And I'm at one minute and 30 seconds until payout. So the idea is you would try to kill him, at, you know, with just a couple seconds left, and that way you jump up to where uh, whoever the person you're attacking would be. So, for instance, at least fifth for me, who I'm attacking, but if they are attacking as well and trying to hit that one spot, which I know, that's why I was sitting in five for all day, was I was waiting for the um, payout so I could hit number one, but unfortunately, uh, I got hit just a little bit ago. So that's, that's the idea, is you want to make sure you're in position to snipe a spot at the payout time because unless you're the only person with Ultron in your shard, you can be beat. Um, it's definitely not in, uh, I mean, there's just no other defenses that really stack up well enough to where you can guarantee you won't, you won't lose to them. So, um, and with Phoenix coming, I think that's going to change everything once she's available. Uh, I'm sure several people in each shard are going to get her and, uh, you know, that's just how it goes. All right, so I got another 25 seconds until payout. So that means right around 50 second mark um, is when you can check the payout. If you're on your phone and you don't have a separate app or timer to view what time it is, what you can do is wait for the minute counter to change and then look at the time remaining and use that as your, um, oh, fuck. There we go. Two seconds left, perfect. Um, but what you can do is wait for the 
time, like the minute to flip on your uh, phone and then look at the seconds left and then just do the math there to go a couple of spots uh, or a couple of minutes forward. Let's see, somebody did not attack Wolf Tech. That's a shame. I thought, unless they're too slow. Man, at least I sniped three. Let's see, did anybody hit me? I was in seven. So, yeah, I went to five, he went to three, three went to five. And then, so that what happened here is I attacked Spanko from seven to five. He was attacking Savitar five to three. He finished his fight with Savitar before I finished mine with his. So he swapped to third, and Savitar went to fifth, because that's where he currently was. And then I beat him, and I was in seventh, so he was in three at that time, and that's when we swapped. So that's how it works. Um, that's the slingshot. And, uh, yeah, Ultron versus Ultron is, is not too tough, actually, if you got the right t characters around him. Um, really, you can slot in anybody for Minerva. Uh, that's, you know, a decent tech damage dealer. I use her as a failsafe because if for some reason their Ultron does an offensed up ult against one of my guys, they can easily one shot them like you saw me do with their Fury. And so, because mine, I think he hits for about 100k or so. Um, and then sometimes he'll crit for like 120. So that, that will kill most characters in the game. Now, if they target Minerva and murder her, well, there's not much I can do about that, but at least I'm not relying on her to win that fight for me. But she's just nice to have uh, in case you want to bring somebody back but that's it that's uh ultron versus ultron mm-hmm